What's up guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to get your clothing to stick on the armature. So when you actually move the bones and stuff, the clothing moves along with it. And I'm going to move this, the hand moves, you know. And when I move the head maybe for example, the head moves with the helmet and stuff. Weird, let's start off with the helmet. So I'll put the, I'll put the pictures on screen of all the items you need. So we're going to do the face mask first. So just take this, put it at 100. Now we have our face mask here. And then you're just going to go look for the... Find the LOD zero, then click Alt P, clear and keep transformation, right? Then go to the mask and delete hierarchy, boom, done. Now choose these two, right? And click Alt G and it resets the position. Now you can just uh, go, click G and Z, move it all the way up. And then uh, go in a different view like this, boom. And now it's all right. It's pretty good, right? And now you can, it, like, if you didn't get it perfect, you can actually scale it up a little bit, but I'm not going to do that, do that right now. Basically, what we did there was just remove it from the old armature, and now we have to add a new armature for it to, you know, follow. So we just uh, select it and click on it. Oh, by the way, if you want the bones in front, right, you got to go here and viewport display, viewport display and put it on in front so you can see it. And uh, anyway, if you go here, you click the pose mode, move it, boom, the helmet moves, but the front plate does not move. So there's really two options. You can either put it together and make it into one item, or you can uh, take this here, right? This is the, this, this is the second way. So uh, you gotta go here, take this off, and you're just gonna click on the bones, click, no, control P, and uh, with empty groups, boom, done. Click on the face, then click on the mask, then go to weight paint, right? Weights, transfer weights, and change this to by name, right? And then go back to object mode. Now, if you go to pose mode, you should be able to move the helmet as well, right? This is the two methods we're gonna use today. Let's do hoodie, for example. Sample. Import FBX, find the torso, delete these, click Alt P, keep transformation, delete hierarchy. Now, bring this up. Go on the side, check, looks all right. And uh, now if you, you gotta do this usually, sometimes there's like a little bit of clipping or something going on, right? So to fix that, you just gotta hide this or delete it. Cause when you hide it, right? You, I recommend hiding it. You gotta also click this so it doesn't actually render in, all right? Cause there, sometimes there's some clipping and stuff. So, you know, anyway, we got this here and most of the time you can just click the armature, really. So it's really simple. So yeah, now if you go to pose mode and boom. I don't know what, what what's it called. There should, there should be like another modifier actually that you can put on the hoodie. So when it stretches, it like looks more natural. I'm not quite sure what it was. You gotta look around in the Discord to me if you find out. I'm not quite sure. All right. All right, I'm gonna show you some uh, extra tips as well. I just wanted to say all of you should really use ChatGPT to help you with Blender. And yeah, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to show you a little Blender script. So where is it? This one, I think it is. All right, grab this, all right? And I'll just click new, put this here, and then we can do, uh, whoop, grab this as well. And click boom, right? And boom, it's all done. I almost removed all the things I didn't need. So I'll just click. All right, now we're good. With the head, right? You can see actually that the eyes don't move along, which is really bad. So you, to fix that, you just gotta go click here, Hide this, click all P, and then, then you click here, right? And you go to pose mode, and you go here, and you go automatic weights, automatic weights. boom, finally fixed. Cool. I don't know, man. It, it was uh, quite tough to figure out. I'm not the smartest person on Blender, but yeah. 